About 40% of all the groceries we buy in the United States go directly into the garbage, and that means that we could save about 40% of the money that we spend on groceries if we didn't throw them out. How do we not throw them out? We cook things by using our imaginations. That is the purpose of the What's in Your Fridge Challenge. So let's see what we've got, and let's figure out what we can make without buying anything. Okay, love mushrooms. Who has skirt steak in their fridge and like forgot about it? Let's be honest. Well, I love broccolini. This one is not as clear cut, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna go with skirt steak. I'm gonna have broccolini. I'm gonna make a sort of romesco sauce. I think that's it. I almost forgot, two more things. Beer. Butter. So these are roasted peppers. My initial thought is, ah, oh, mamma mia. What does this liquid taste like? It just tastes like pepper water. There might be hope for it, I don't know yet. Lots of salt, people. Pepper. Olive oil. Salt. Pepper. Other pan. Fire. Garlic. One, two, three, four. Let's leave most of the skin on. That goes in. Here comes broccoli. Check out this steak. Getting there, not quite there though. Got a little bit of, a little bit of bread. Let's kind of toast that. So the idea here is let's really get some color. Let's probably cook it 80% on one side and then just kiss the other side. That way we'll get a nice crust. So moving it around here a little is just allowing extra water to evaporate because when there's water, nothing gets over 212 degrees. This is getting color. I like that. Woo, so hot. Look at this, we're getting some chars on the broccolis. Beautiful. Okay, bread one, bread two, bread three, bread four. Oh man, I'm out of practice. Okay, let's rip up this bread. I kind of want the burnt toasted pieces. Garlic. And the steak's ready to flip. That was very exciting for me. I hope it was exciting for you. All right. One. Really nice crust there, as you can see. I think we should deglaze this pan. Let's get a little more beer. So this is pulling all the steak bits off the pan. The French call them souks. And they are very flavorful. So I think we should put them in. The garlic has picked up a See, the skin was protecting it from burning, but yet that roasted smell has made its way in. There's a, there's a really nice aroma. And then the hit of the beer cooked it through. We definitely want some peppers. Salt. Uh, balsamic. Orange. Here's some almonds. Give them a little toast. Very nice. They got toasted right away. They can come in. Let's start with this bad boy. Wonderful. Oh, that's so nice. Let's put a little bit of this just because it's sweet. And let's see what happens there. Okay, I'm looking at it. It looks, uh, I'd like it to be a little bit more fluid. But let's see where we are in the flavor department. Wow. Pretty banging. All right, we got a plate. I forgot to use the butter, I'm realizing now. Uh, butter could have been the last stage in the steak cooking. You can see the fibers of the meat, you wanna cut against that. And I don't really wanna cut it into pieces. I just wanna get it into sections here. Very delicious. Mm, super moist, really nice, even if it's medium. Gorgeous char there. Frank is happy. Ooh, I like that one. That looks really pretty. Okay, here we go. Some romesco, very nice. You could also dip the broccoli in there if you see fit. 
Oh, here we go. Mmm. It's so good. It doesn't need the butter. I've never actually cooked a skirt steak this way before where I did 95% of the cooking on one side. It's legitimately hard in areas, but not burnt. This Romesco is lovely. It's nutty, it's bright, it's smoky. And the broccolini, I mean, they're charred and then they're cooked through with the beer. So there's this complex thing happening from the most uncomplex of all beers, Natty Light, let's be honest. It's an awesome meal. Make sauces, not war. Thank you.